Hey all you network admins, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Let's install the in-house chat and collaboration platform Zulip on Ubuntu Server 18.04. The first thing you'll want to take care of is configuring your hosts file. Open a terminal window on your server and issue the command sudo nano slash etsy slash hosts. In that file, add the following at the bottom. 192.168.1.9 Zulip Dot LAN. Remember to use the details for your setup, not mine. Save and close the file. Next, we need to download and unpack the Zulip installer file. Go back to the terminal window and change into the temp directory with the command cd slash tmp. Now you can download the installer file with the command wget https colon slash slash www.zulip.org slash dist slash releases slash zulip dash server dash latest dot tar dot gz. Once the file has downloaded, unpack it with the command tar dash xvf zulip dash server dash latest dot tar dot gz. Before you run the installer command, you'll need to install OpenSSL on your server. For that, issue the command sudo apt get install OpenSSL dash y. For installing Zulip with a self-signed certificate, issue the command sudo s dot slash zulip dash server dash star slash scripts slash setup slash install dash dash self dash signed dash cert dash dash email equals email address dash dash hostname equals zulip dot lan, where email address is your admin email address. Make sure to change the hostname to match what you've mapped in Etsy hosts. To install with a Let's Encrypt certificate, you'll issue the command sudo s dot slash zulip dash server dash star slash scripts slash setup slash install dash dash certbot dash dash email equals email address dash dash hostname equals fqdn, where email address is your admin email address and fqdn is your fully qualified domain name. When the installation completes, you'll be presented with a link to follow, which will take you to your Zulip installation. In the resulting browser window, type an email address and click Create Organization. In the next window, you'll be asked to create an admin account, which will be used to manage Zulip. You'll need to also configure an SMTP server so Zulip can send out notifications. To do this, Go back to the terminal window and issue the command sudo nano slash etsy slash zulip slash settings dot py. In that file, look for the following lines. Pound email underscore host equals quote smtp dot example dot com quote. Pound email underscore host underscore user equals quote quote. Pound email underscore user underscore tls equals true. Pound email underscore port equals 587. Uncomment out those lines by removing the pound character and then fill them out as needed for your SMTP server. Save and close that file. Next, you need to configure the password for your SMTP server. To set this, open the necessary file for editing with the command sudo nano slash etsy slash zulip slash zulip dash secrets dot conf. In that file, add the following line at the bottom email underscore password equals password, where password is the password for your SMTP server. If you're using the Gmail SMTP servers, you will have to create an app password for this as you cannot use your Gmail account password. Save and close the file. Finally, restart the Zulip services with the command suzulip dash c quote slash home slash zulip slash deployments slash current slash scripts slash restart dash server quote. If you want to see more how-to videos, subscribe to our How to Make Tech Work YouTube channel. Also, check out Tech Republic for the latest news in tech.